Oh, welcome guys, another Snow White video, but it's a funny one. It's a funny one. And the reason why I wanted to do this video is based off of uh, a similar report that you may have heard. Even I took a look at it yesterday, but it's interesting for a few reasons. There was a website, a satirical website, that basically did an article to say that Snow White was cancelled, right? The Snow White remake with Rachel Zegler. And it went viral, way beyond the pale. Probably, I mean, the, the, the website probably couldn't, uh, you know, believe their luck. They're like, oh my God, yes, traction, traffic. But why did it go viral? That's, that's the question. Why did it go viral? Because this is a PR disaster and it might as well get cancelled. This will be a huge bomb. Incredibly so. So let's take a look. Hit subscribe if you're new here. But Rachel Zegler's Snow White not cancelled, but it will probably get delayed. And that was in that video, but I want to go into that a little bit more as well. So there were some images of Gal Gadot, which are fake as well. Uh, but anyway, so an article from Disney satire site goes viral on Twitter and TikTok. Now, the TikTok side of it is something I didn't realise. Look, I don't go on TikTok. I think it's essentially cancer, It'll give you brain aneurysms. But um, TikTok, the core audience of TikTok is the audience for this. That's the people that would like this movie. And it's going viral on there because people are happy it's cancelled. Right? They want it to get cancelled. So you've already ruined your core audience base. Hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. So it's been claimed that the Rachel Zegler Snow White movie has been cancelled. But that is not the case as an article that has been going viral is from a satirical website. Uh, this website, FYI, is Cosmic Book News. So Rachel Zegler has been blowing up on the likes of Twitter and TikTok with fans posting about Zegler's recent comments about Snow White. And there's even more, you know, like she she wore some like sweatshirt saying no tears left to cry, which is obviously in, in, essentially is in response to the Snow White criticism. Um, just just coming out in it. You know, today, Rachel Zegler stepped out in her million dollar apartment, apartment in New York uh, she can't make any statements due to SAG after a strike. However, she wanted to send a message for all the backlash over a Snow White comment. And her shirt says, no tears left to cry. <laughs> so they're unable to say any statements at the moment. But hilarious. 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 Uh, and this is something which, uh, you know, other people have done uh, as well. So it's, it is, this is essentially what that is. Uh, but anyway, moving on. Zegler has said that she doesn't like the original animated movie, described Prince Charming as a stalker, which is an incredible mischaracterization, but okay. Uh, and said her version of Snow White will be a leader and won't be a love story, which is in addition to her tweets, uh, where she comes off as apparently frustrated with men. Which is funny, because she, well, she did have a boyfriend at a certain point. Don't know if she got one now, FYI. Uh, and this is also on top of the fact... Again, this is why people, this went viral, because people are like, this woman is insufferable. This is on top of a video of her going viral, where she was on the sag after strike, and she's like, if I wear, you know, if I have to wear a Disney princess outfit for 18 hours a day, I expect to get paid for every hour that's streamed. That's your job. That's your job. What are you doing? You're getting paid handsomely anyway. Just an incredibly dislikable individual. So Snow White cancelled posted by the satirical site. So there was an article posted by Mousetrap News titled Disney officially cancels the live action Snow White movie. Uh, which was posted and then some people thought was real. However in the site's about section it's clear that Mousetrap News is a satirical website. We write fake stories about Disney Park stuff, from Disney Park announcements to Disney Hotel and resort news to made-up Disney partnerships. You can be assured that anything you read here is not true, real or accurate, but it is fun. So technically our slogan, the mouse trusted name in Disney news, isn't true. But we thought it was creative and funny, so we're running with it, states the sign. So quite a funny thing anyway. So what is the issue though? What is, is going to probably be delayed? Um, so it's not been cancelled, apparently, right? And I say that apparently because this is a this is a movie which could get cancelled. It might be that these could, the thing is some of these satirical parody websites 
you know, hit the nail on the head, even though it is a parody. You know, the Babylon Bee, for instance, is renowned for doing satire that is now coming true, which is hilarious. But the issue is that this is probably going to get delayed. Um, and they cannot be happy about this at all. They cannot be happy about this Disney. Well, they will try to salvage this in some regard, and they're not going to be happy about this. Even though, and it is important to note, even though everything that she's been saying is what Disney wanted her to say. There is no way Disney wouldn't have told her that. Now, I know that sounds dumb. You know, why would Disney slate their first ever animated movie that basically made them a company? Well, because it's out with the old, in with the new. It's not Snow White, so they have to slate the old one because they know that their new movie don't hold, it literally will not and cannot hold a candle to the original. So they have to degrade it in the public's eye. And that's why they got Rachel Zegler to do it. You know, she'd been slammed as a fake feminist, accused of gaslighting Disney fans, uh, trashing the original cartoon non-stop, and then there's again images of uh, Gal Gadot. These are all fake as well. Um, yeah, apparently the evil queen, but yeah, these are said to be fake. Uh, AI-generated images, actually, which, you know, don't look terrible, to be fair. I don't think they look terrible at all. I mean, they're not great, but they're not awful either. So what's the issue here, and why did I want to do this video? Well, like I said, the fact that this satirical website gained such levels of traction that this went viral, and we're talking viral, it was everywhere, absolutely everywhere. It speaks volumes as to the massive issue that Disney is going to have when they repackage this film. And what I mean by repackage is that they'd obviously had a marketing team come in, say, this is what we need to say, what we need to do, let's push it out, and then they did. And that's backfired massively. So they are going to have to repackage this film when the trailer comes out and how they look to push this moving forwards. It's going to be very different. And I bet you anything when those god awful night, you know, late night talk show uh, series shows come back on because the strike's over, the writers' strike. Because yes, that's right. These comedians don't write their own material. Comedians. Um, They'll get Rachel Zegler out there. They'll get her to do interviews. And the message will be completely different. I bet you anything. But it went viral for a reason. Because people are not happy. They want it to get cancelled. And the fact that it went viral on the likes of TikTok. That speaks volumes. Oh my god does it speak volumes. People are just like this is absolute trash. Yes it's canned. Deserves to be canned. So anyway I thought it was funny. Hit subscribe if you're new here. Turn the bell notifications on. Do you want it to be canned? Do you want it to be delayed? Let me know. Take care. Bye-bye now.